In today's first reading from the Acts of the Apostles, we have the continuation of St. Stephen being called before the elders and scribes, the people of Israel. He says to them, You stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in heart and ears, you always oppose the Holy Spirit. You are just like your ancestors. Which of the prophets did your ancestors not persecute? They put to death those who foretold the coming of the righteous one, whose betrayers and murderers you have now become. When you think of the beautiful sanctuary that we have at St. Margaret Mary's, all the prophets lined up on the back wall behind the altar, and above them, the Lamb of God, the Paschal Lamb. What Stephen was able to do in his witness of faith was to challenge those who put Christ to death, challenging them with the hopes that they would come to appreciate that Jesus truly is the Messiah, the Savior of the world. This proved altogether too much for them, and they ground their teeth at him. But Stephen, filled with the Holy Spirit, we are told, lifted his eyes to heaven and saw the glory of God, Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And he said, Behold, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of the Father. They were told, they put their hands over their ears and they were so frustrated that they dragged Stephen out and they stoned him. This witness, this testimony that Stephen in his courage and grace was able to give did not deter him from imitating Christ and asking that their sin not be held against them for killing him. He patterned his own life, even in his death, after Christ's selflessness. Let us pray today in the times that we are challenged, in the times that we are discouraged, that we might see in some semblance of what we are experiencing the desire for God to act through us, that our patience, our kindness, our long-suffering, our forbearance might bring to the situation the peace of Christ, that we might be reconcilers, that we might offer forgiveness, that we would imitate Christ not only in his suffering, so that we might follow him in his glory. Blessings on your day.